Welcome to a special edition of the Grass Fed Homestead. This is my 500th video on YouTube and my four year anniversary. There's no better way to celebrate this milestone than to get more sheep. Four years ago today, I posted my first video on YouTube, challenged personally by Justin Rhodes. At the time, we were still living in a subdivision, but I had already bought this property. We just hadn't quite moved here yet. But knowing I was moving here and gonna be getting into homesteading, I knew that I could make the videos. So I launched the channel. The first one was about drip irrigation, installing it for the garden beds we were building here. Earlier today, we went to our friend's dairy farm and uh, we collected some of their raised beds in their garden area that they weren't using anymore. Uh, it, it just been kind of overgrown and, and uh, not kept up with, so uh, they said that we could have some of the raised beds for our garden on our new property. There's only extra squirrels. <laughs> They're extra screws? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do with them? I just mommy screws with them. Mommy screws with them? They're really extra, but you have to watch what you're doing if you're screwing something. And the second one was about sheep shopping, where I went to go look at sheep to buy for the first time. And that's where Tess appears in her first video on our channel, and the second video. This one's pure 100% um, Katahdin. Yeah. All right. This one is three quarters Katahdin, one quarter Dorper. So that's the difference in the, yes, okay. the cover. I'm happy to report Tess is on her way here right now with one of her friends, Denise, with a ram lamb. So I'm gonna have my second ram lamb that I'm gonna raise up for harvest this fall. What an awesome way to celebrate four years here in the homestead in the 500th video. Then bringing Tess here and getting more sheep. While we're waiting for Tess to arrive here in the homestead, I'd like to take a minute to reminisce and look back at the accomplishments and everything that's happened in the last few years. So we're going to try to Hello. back right over there. This is exciting. Why <laughs> can hey, hi baby. Hi, little buddy. Mm. You like it?
so I was like, we can make pizza. Like that's not that's not a hard thing. And we can it's not even a cheat at this point because we're using cassava flour, which is gluten free, grain free, and nut free. Pizza's out of the oven. We're just getting it parted out. Are we ready for basil? Yeah, yeah, I need to cut it. Okay. Here you go, Dan. Here we go. That's all you get, buddy. Two slices. No. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. We have plenty for everybody. Before we started, I told everyone how uh, you asked about my cheats. And I said, I don't cheat. But if I did, it would be pizza. So, here we go. Here we go. But this isn't even a cheat. It is. Yeah, I know. No, it's right. still paleo, isn't it? It's or primal. primal. Yeah, primal. Because uh, the cheese. But yeah. Cheese. So, here we go. Okay, well, kind of cheat, Dan. Oh man, he's gonna die and go to heaven. I hope it's good. Cause how long has it been since you had pizza? Three years. Three years. Oh my gosh. I got bandage on my face. For you. <laughs> All right, have a good trip, buddy. You've been a wonderful oh host. Oh. All of you. You've been wonderful hosts. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Guys so much. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you come see us in Asheville, okay? We love you too. You come see us. You can spend the night in the bus. Oh, you hi. Hug them by? Are you saying goodbye oh. to me? <laughs> Are you staying? Sometimes I forget just how much has gone on here in such a relatively short amount of time. Here comes Tess. Mm. <laughs> Are you ready to come out? Well, let me tell oh, you, there's that some guy. great grass out here. Oh, this is so nice. He's a sweetheart. He is come. He is from uh, Boris, who's my new ram that I like so much because he's got a, a slender head and look at how slender his face and head is which is really nice from the perspective of a breeding stock because then I can put Boris with the young ewes and you know it, he, you don't need to eat a big giant flat head you know it's the, easier for them to easier deliver them to deliver yeah. yeah and so he he's a he's one of the new Boris line you know so that's kind of so fun. Boris is one of your rental rams that yeah, went that's right to Denise's yes. ranch yes. and bred her ewes. Yes, and cool. he came back and did some my, some of mine too. Right. And so, but I just wanted to point it out because he he has a different look in his face. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. You want me to carry him, Tess? Oh, oh just come here, baby. Oh, do you want to take this? Oh, come on. Good. Oh, he's trying to nurse. Look at you. She's gonna. So his mama is Maybelline. Yeah. Very nice. pretty girl. They look a nice, nice couple. And Maybelline is also from Tessa's genetics, yes. right? Yes, she yep. is. Also from, yes. All my sheep are from Tessa's genetics. Yes. <laughs> and they're good. Yes. Have you know? Have him settle in with Lopsy. I have to. The man who's who built the little red uh, gates and 
and panels is um, Chuck Derisi, and he actually lives not too far from here in his new location. He's gone out of the business, he's retired. Okay. And so I'm going to be going over there and picking some things up from him. And I thought when I do that, I'll be having the trailer and then I'll get Lopsy at that Okay. Point. You know, but rather than trying to put her in my bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. You know. We just moved the sheep corral. Dan's partner showed up to see the new lamb. And so we moved the sheep corral and uh, the sheep went walkabout in the process. Tess has some treats though to hopefully lure them back in. That was a nice visit from Tess. So everyone just left, and I'm just checking on the sheep, and they're having a little bit of an issue settling in. This is perfectly normal, but Lopsy here is trying to keep the a new ram lamb away. So she's rammed him a good few times to kind of establish the order of things in here. Hi. Ah, that's not food. <laughs> Tess will be back in a couple weeks or so. We don't have an exact time frame yet, but in the next couple of weeks she'll be back and she's going to get Lopsy and bring Lopsy back to her farm. And then I'll just have the two ram lambs. In the meantime, there's a little tension going on, but they'll settle. It'll be fine. The last four years have been an incredible journey. I sincerely thank each and every one of you guys who have supported me over the years. All of your comments, the emails, Facebook messages, even just the thumbs up on the videos. It's been absolutely amazing having your support, so thank you all. This year in particular has been an excellent year because it's been a year of rebuilding. I've got the animals back. Things are starting to move again on the grass-fed homestead. It's been great, but only time will tell what's gonna happen in the future. So we'll both just have to stay along for the ride to see how it goes.